everything you need. The man go, the coconut, the life. Please understand that this is the real thing, man. Bahana, 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 mother, fuck you. Whiskey trickle down the sway. Close the chat and hit your place. Stomp through the swivel gate. Check, check, check. That doorman on the way. Go to elevator ways. What's that new? I've been this before. Forty stories up in space. Forty stories up in space. But I'm feeling right? for your man. Yeah, bros. <laughs> Snap out it. Yo, yeah. That's nice, man. Yeah. Back with the. <laughs> woo, woo. You're back with Avengers. Hey, bro. Woo. Good to see you, man. What's up, man? You good? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. What's doing, We're man? Back, bro. Grouse and a few reds, baby. Thursday special. Well, we release on a Friday, so I shouldn't say Thursday special. <laughs> Thursday for us. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm That's really a bit of good. An energy flip for you. <laughs> Flat you know how it is, man. Minutes ago. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. So there's I'm there's sure. business to me and there's content to me. Yeah. And we're here. We're content. <laughs> Welcome back to the Body Science Studio. Body Science. Oh, yes. Apologies. Body Science Studio. And thank you to our mates at Body Science for sending us all this fresh gear. Hey, you're looking pretty trim yourself there, Sim. Man, honestly. You've been I've, tucking in? <laughs> so I reached out to the team at Body Science. I said, listen, baby girl said I've got a gunt. <laughs> I need to deal with this real quick. Because I found I, I actually would catch her. You know, like you're just lying down on the couch. Mm. She just like put her hand underneath my, my my t-shirt and start like. And the first time it's cute. And then the fuck are you doing? It's like, well, you're playing with it now. And then I was like, fuck, I need to get back to the old me. So mm. yeah, reached out to the guys at Body Science. Um, they sent me some creatine, protein. They sent um, us fucking everything. Everything, man. So this is lean muscle, which yep. is available in Coles. I've been smacking it, as you can see on my story. <laughs> That me off too. <laughs> as you guys can see on my story, the shit works. And um, as you can see on my stories, I haven't been taken. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, man. Honestly, get on it. Um, the creatine I find is actually the best. Yeah, you like that, eh? I've been going hard, man. I've been going hard, and obviously you got to take Ooh. your diet into consideration. I was smashing like pizzas and shit every day. <laughs> yeah, a little crust. S- scoop before sex, or, um, bro. Actually, this other stuff that I got from BSC. Yes. The test yep. uh, apparently increases your sex drive. Which I've always said you need to increase. I need that. <laughs> I need that. We were just talking about If there's about anyone that doesn't need that, it's you. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. But yeah, it's, it's Shout honestly- Shout out Body Science. Appreciate the support. Love this shit. Thank you so much. What else has been going on, man? What's, what's new in Simi's world? I know obviously we're still in lockdown, but we're getting there. Little horizon. We're, cro- we're crossing that horizon, but you've just been training. Man, I've just Brand been, managing. Yeah, I've been training- uh, brand manager role, obviously, um, is pretty much in full swing. Just trying to just tighten up the screws here and there. Yeah, um, he tried to catch you in a bit of a trap today on the Oracle too, and you had yeah. that shit ready for him. I, I uh, now I'm just sort of like, I, I've, I know that Ice is gonna, he's gonna when when things are going well. Yeah, he's like, nah, nah, nah. I <laughs> so try and crumble something. I need to here. chuck a few spanners in the works, and so I snuck into the garage and had a look in his toolbox already. <laughs> Uh, sorry, man. I Not knew today. It was coming. <laughs> That's why I covered myself when I said to you, I knew he was going to try and use that for content. If you listen to the Oracle, you get what we're talking about. Basically, um, Ice waited till they were live on air to try and catch Simi out stealing a bit of uh, company Bunsen. Not literally stealing. Not literally stealing, but being a bit selfish, holding the, the sales bunts. Yeah. But what happens is Simi's like a Venice flytrap and he's already <laughs> <laughs> he was already waiting. So <laughs> he closed that shit real quick. Yeah, Quicker well, than he closes deals, actually. <laughs> I fucking, I just... I knew it was going to happen. I knew he was going to do it. So, yeah, he walked into my trap, man. So, grateful, yeah. grateful, grateful. Thank and we you. are grateful for this podcast. We're grateful for all the support and the feedback. I told Simi this morning, bit of a giggle off the back of, there's going to be no landscaping chat in this episode. We've got that out of our system. No more. But some guy actually reached out. I'll put his name below because it's a fucking giggle. He reached out and he goes, um, he goes, hey boys, big fan. <laughs> he goes, hey boys, big fan of the show. Love grouse and a few reds, respectfully. People misusing respectfully is starting to piss me off. But I'm just anyway. Who came up with respectfully? You. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm just saying other people are misusing it. I know. It's just it's, it's being just thrown really around. Nilly. Fucking anyway. Really nilly. Thanks for the support, regardless. And apologies to Tom because he's he's just trying to be a nice guy here. Anyway, so he says, appreciate grouse and a few reds, respectfully. He says, I listened to your guys' chat on the last episode and I've been struggling to find a landscaper in lockdown. 
It'd be unreal if you boys could come out. Obviously, I'd pay and do a bit of work around my place. I'm not exactly sure what needs to be done, but we just need a general tidy up and the retaining wall needs to be reinforced. Looking forward to hearing from you. <laughs> Looking forward to hearing from you. Ready how he signs off? Respectfully. <laughs> So, that, I mean, so thanks for reaching out, man. First of all, we're not coming. <laughs> I don't know. What's the Bunsen look like, man? I did reply and say, what? Money's part? money, baby. <laughs> so, uh, no, we, we do know. Uh, we, landscaping's in a past life for us, man. This is, what we, this is the shit we do now. <laughs> Grouse and a few landscapes. <laughs> what do you reckon? We do it live from his garden. Yeah. It would be a giggle of a vlog, so <laughs> I'm not actually going to rule it out now. I don't know, man. But obviously, know. while we're still in lockdown, we can't do that, but... If you still need us post lockdown, brother, you, Let us you know, put a bro. you put a bottle of red wine on the table and invite us over. We could just be there. <laughs> Honestly, no, nah, I still want that Bunsen. But <laughs> in regards to the retaining wall, that's fifty fifty. Yeah, you're starting to go a bit beyond me with yeah, that. Yeah, then you got to look into like you know structural integrity, structural integrity, mm. and like I'd probably use bamboo to hold that cut up. <laughs> so yeah, I'd ta- if you're talking like if you just need like lawns, 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 if you yeah. need the garden to be yeah. weeded. Yeah. Tidied up. A bit Weeds. of mulch. Maybe a know? few fucking shrubs here and there. Maybe you just need a bit of fill put behind the retaining wall. We can do that. Mm, mm, mm. Drainage, bit of scoria and some some pipe. I can yeah, do that. Yeah. When you start talking about actual construction, nah. you're starting to lose us. Yeah, that's all sort of like for the contractors. So <laughs> I'm happy to charge you and then- <laughs> But we're going to charge you the contractor Bunsen. <laughs> <laughs> and outsource it. Yeah, we just that's the type the of business I am. Yeah. I'm the middleman. Uh, but Ice has been pretty pleased with the brand manager role. In all seriousness, he's pretty pleased with what you've been doing. Yeah, of course. It's only, what, two weeks in? You know what was actually, actually brought tears to my eyes? Mm. And um, I'm not much of a crier. But he literally said, I'm still learning. Yeah. Cause as a leader. As, and that's quite big. Because he hasn't said that before. <laughs> These, mate, he's got, he's got so many amazing qualities. Accountability isn't really one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Respectfully. Respectfully. And that's how you use respectfully, Tom. <laughs> so, like, when he, when he said that, you know, and, you know, he, it, 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 it was actually good. I actually enjoyed the fact that he said that, um, that, um, that, I've, been doing, that I've been doing well. So um, it, was, it was good to hear. It was good to hear. And I knew that I was going to do well, too. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, motherfucker. I was just like, fucking... I called him up, give me the role, because I, I wanted that shit. And we are also introducing, a, by the way, I should have mentioned off the top of the show, the Grouse and a Few Reds wine tour is in full swing now. We've, like with everything we do, we're in too deep now. So we, we're going. Way too deep. Um, and we will be calling two more dudes members at the end of this show, so keep your phones on you to be adding to Lucas and Ryan, who are already coming with us. I believe Lucas is already up there, right? He's in Newey. Yeah, 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 yeah. He survived the car accident that was on the, when he was on the phone to us last week, so... Blessings, Lucas. Um, so Ryan and Lucas are locked in. We'll be calling two more members and adding them to that. But that segues me nicely into the next subject, which is Simi, the brand hyphen community manager. Jordan Simi is going to be the new face of the Doozy Club. Basically what that entails is he's going to be the one running this shit and when's Freedom Day? October. I said, fuck, bro, we're like two we're weeks two away. Two weeks away. What's that first event going to... Okay, hey, 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 hang on. Let me paint a picture for you. Mm, mm, mm. We come out of lockdown. Yes. Doozy Club's humming. Humming. There's a little bit of cash in YKTR now because brand manager's been doing his thing. I've been doing my thing, baby. The dream first Doozy members only event. Yes. Australia, and then we'll get to New Zealand. How does it yes. look? Talk me through it. Walk okay. me through what it looks okay. like. This is... Obviously, you have to take into consideration covid Travel restrictions. Yeah. So, okay. So we're here. We're, we're in here. Sydney. Yeah. Okay. So whoever can come to Sydney who's a part of the Doozy Club, mm. the first event will p- most probably look like, depending on numbers, mm. you, have to, you have to hire out a venue. <laughs> oh, obviously. To, yeah, yeah. You have to hire out. I'm going to go. I really enjoyed Scope's party. Yeah. At the Oak. Yeah, the upstairs part. Upstairs part. Mm. Perfect conditions. Close to... Close to other venues. Indoor, outdoor, flow. Indoor, outdoor, pokey room, just downstairs. You know what I mean? Because we've got a Four few bathrooms. Yeah. All in private locations. So it's like, it was perfect. They, they, they had the whole upstairs out for us. Mm. So depending on numbers, man, we could pack that bitch out for oh, sure. Fucking, hey. For sure. And the price wise was lined up perfectly. So if, you, if you're uh, in Doozy Club, that's that's what's on the horizon. So, and even if you're not in the Doozy Club, when we say it's going to be, so it's not a members only event, but basically a perk of the Doozy Club is, is you get. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it depends it when is. he gets his reins on it. It's mine. You get first crack at all tickets. So, 
this bitch, like we've we've obviously seen a magic round how quick that shit sells out when you boys are pulling up. Crazy. So it was literally f- between here and the airport, which is about minutes. five minutes. <laughs> five minute drive to the you, airport. You were sold me. out by the time you left the driveway. It went on sale, and we were sold out. But we got there. So we've learned from that. So dudes members get first crack at tickets, almost like a pre-sale ticket pre-sale. Yeah. And then whatever's left after that will go out to the wider public. So it's obviously in everyone's best interest to be in the doozy club if you want to come and get on the piss with the boys and watch Simi and his element. Um, but you don't have to be in the doozy club necessarily to come to these events. Yeah, we still on. got to we still got to nut we still got to nut out the the process like you know tickets yeah. or do you know if you're in doozy club, is it just fucking f- for free? Are you yeah, it's a good, free, yeah, it's probably I mean? a bit, even better point. Yeah, yeah, fucking oath. So it's like you know, so I will nut it out with with ice and shit like that, but it'll probably be in Double Bay, mm. as I said, close to other venues. Um, potentially, I'm gonna say it, even a boat party, a yacht party. Yeah, all right, a fucking yacht. You know, all right. Let me let the me ghost. Ta- let me t- <laughs> let, me just let me tell you what I'm thinking. Right, we're gonna obviously kill it this year with all these events. First event in the new year, we go international. There's a poor footy at the airport when we come through. That's honestly what I'm sorry. That's, and if <laughs> there's not, I'm getting on the next plane out of there. I <laughs> so. actually need if you guys, if someone that's watching Grass and a few Reds <laughs> is a part of a Kappa Haka group. <laughs> I need that experience. I want to. I want to walk into a fucking hucker. It's good, but it's not good enough. Yeah, I need it. I want to see some red thighs when I leave that bitch. <laughs> I want to fucking stand. And huck her back. Wait <laughs> until I can then enter. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Fuck me. No, bro. Look at the fucking sign on the wall, kind of. <laughs> anyway, oh. as I was saying, <sighs> Simi gets huckered, welcomed into the airport. I reckon you know it'd be sick, bro. And um, we've talked about this doing this before, but then obviously fucking COVID. But I reckon it'd be hectic to do like a full YKTR event where it's almost like, you know, open bar, big setting like that, but we need yeah. a stage. You almost do a live podcast event. That's it. So you do like, say, let's make up the times. Everyone arrives at sort of four or five o'clock, starts getting on the piss, meet yeah. and greet with the boys, blah, 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 boom. Six o'clock, Grouse and a few reds opens the show, obviously, because... Yeah. You get, a mi- you get a microphone going around yeah. the boys. You get the crowd going. Yes. And then we close that bitch out with 10 in the can rolling into the footy. Yes! Yes. You know what bro. I mean? Oh, my God. And bro. then just carry on an absolute treat after like, that. Like, we're sitting here, and then all the boys are out the back on the piss. Yeah, They're and, all just and talking and shit. And you've got the boys all sitting down there, yeah, having a few beers, having a few giggle, beers, giggling. Yelling respectfully at the wrong time. You've got time. Lukey around on the microphone, just fucking asking questions. Caleb on the lens. He's oh. 18 now, so he can get in. Oh! Which, by the way... We could do that in Sydney. Yeah, I know. Yeah, We're going just, to do that. Yeah, I know. That's it. That's it. Live podcast. That was the best sense idea in the world. Did you like that? I loved it. Yeah, cool. Um... Yeah, so that is a plan, but obviously we're hamstring by what we can do now. We're planning it now, but if you're in the doozy club, you're going to get first bite of the cherry. You'll always get you'll get first crack, and obviously you have to keep. Fuck! I swear to God, <laughs> I swear to God. Hey, Balamello, this comes barking too. Hey, Who, who's that? Simba, <laughs> Simba. Um, but yeah, that honestly, you guys have to take into consideration COVID restrictions. So Doozy Club will get first crack. Yeah. And these events, honestly, Scope's Punners Club party that he had, it was it was like invite only mm. to the OG um, OG Punners. Was that the first time I met you? Yeah. Properly. Properly. Yeah. Yeah. F- the OG, it was it was actually so much fun, mm. and it was like it was naughty. Had a bit of a naughty ending. But yeah. it was a good night. No- it, it was, was a naughty night. ending, but like <laughs> we just need to call it when we need to call it. Everyone goes their separate ways. So, so after the event, I'm going to go do my thing and you don't follow me. <laughs> don't follow me. Okay? That was the first night I met Sydney. So I've been in Sydney probably, oh, not even a week, eh? Because I got here on the Wednesday. That was a Saturday. Yeah, these cunts from New Zealand just come over all thinking. And um, I was enjoying myself, having a good time. And I had known, like I'd spoke to Sim. He used to FaceTime me out of the blue with his fucking shirt off. I'd be, who is this guy? I never met him. <laughs> Um, anyway, we start having a few beers. We're carrying on, and as Simi does, he starts to call himself the king of fucking. Where were we? Double Bay. Uh, I said I was the king of Sydney. He said he was the king of Sydney, and um, he says, "Listen, if you no, 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 uh, sorry, someone else said that to you. No one else said laughed. that to me, cunt. And no. I and I said, 
You said it to me. <laughs> All right, come with me then, man. He just he told me, he goes, if you ever need to get in anywhere, or if uh, the wife ever needs anything, you let me know. I was like, bro, don't like you don't have to flex. It's okay, I'm not like, I like you. Been... And then you said, oh, you think I'm joking? <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> sure enough, cuts the line at the venue next door. Starts dapping up bouncers. <laughs> he's got the owner coming down, fucking hugging and kissing <laughs> he's, babies. He's, he's kissing me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you guys need? Hey, jump just out the a back for a little fucking review. dabble. <laughs> Just a little jump, walk through the fucking kitchen, say hello to the chefs. <laughs> that's what I mean. I always I treat the janitor how I treat the owner. You do. So And I respect why, that. Oh, that's that's me, man. I say hello to anybody. That's that's actually me. I think that's what everyone gets confused by with Scope mm. and I. <laughs> Scope's the fucking stuck up cunt. I'm the I'm the, I'm the degenerate. Bro, you know when his energy changes big time? It's like Scope is all about the DJs. He's all about getting after it. He's 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 the skipper. He's our leader. Yeah, he's yeah. one of us. Yeah, you, you, you put a bit it. of a crowd about that, bro. Oh, wow, <laughs> wow. Do I change the ego? <laughs> Do I change? No, no, no. You keep that same energy. Thank that same energy is annoying as fuck. Thank but you, you keep it. Thank you, thank you. But Hoz, Jesus, he starts really wow. pulling out of that NRL wow. first grader fucking guy. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow, man. I remember that night too, bro. I was like, fuck yeah, bro. Like, man, come to see. He's like, come Shut to the fuck up. And he's like. <laughs> Oh, he's like, oh, fuck up, bro. Go get, <laughs> go get me a drink. And I was like, and he said it in front of all like the OGs. So I was like, I'm going to go get you a beer in my head. I'm like, I'm going to go get you a beer. But I don't want to get you a beer. <laughs> because out of respect to what you've got going on here, but one day I will kill you <laughs> for this. So I was like, yeah, bro, I'll go get you a beer. And I fucking almost spat in that cup too. I was like, fucking... Make it extra fluffy too. He's the biggest changes on the person. Changes, Shocking. bro, big time. Wow. I can't stand. I can't stand changes. He's not bad. bad no, it's not bad. It's funny, but it's like I'm like, chill, bro. Yeah. Like when we were, when we were at fucking uh, Magic Round. Yeah. Holy cunt. And you could see it trending. You're like, oi. Oh. <laughs> I I knew I lost him when I turned around. He was talking to the fucking the uh, the owners of the bulldog. <laughs> That He's out there trying I'm, to get a training trial. Bro, I'm telling you, right? Oh, I gotta tell the story. <laughs> so we're fucking. This is how buzzy the shit is, bro. It's still, it's still unbelievable. So, Ice puts us up in this hotel mm. in Magic Round, and nice joint. Fucking Mickey Mouse, mm. probably the best, brand new hotel. Oh, so we we rock up there and we're like, oh, we're like, what the fuck? Because they played it like, oh, sorry, it's the only one we could get you into. Mm. Maddest. So I go to Lukey, bro. You're coming with me, mm. like. <laughs> I'm not yeah. sleeping with these two cunts. <laughs> so, anyways, Luke and I jump in a room. So, anyways, we get on the piss. We go upstairs because they've got like a penthouse bar, mm. right? And we walk in there, bro. And you've got like, you've got like Joey Johns, like or Maddie Johns, or someone like. And then you got like fucking Fatty, and then you got you Fatty got, the OG. <laughs> you got fucking Billy Slater, Jonathan Thurston, like. <laughs> Heaps of the old, heaps of the old like the best players and then the goats. and then Melbourne Storm players come up. Then Manly was staying there. Manly players came up, mm. and then like it was fucking crazy. If there was ever an environment where you're going <laughs> to lose scope, it's there. I lost. And then you got the owners of the Bulldogs. Yeah. You got fucking scope trying to ch sell Chico. <laughs> And then, like, it was hilarious, bro. And then... He's good. He's still got some footy bro, in it, it, it. It was honestly the buzziest thing. And then, man, that whole experience was insane. Yeah. Insane, bro. The annoying... Not the annoying thing. Obviously, I like... You boys fucking killed it up there. The annoying thing with, like, this whole lockdown for us as a fucking brand was that was our, like, test yeah. to see if we could go on tour and do these cool events and if people would fuck with it outside of Sydney. Bro, big time. The answer was... Man, Overwhelmingly, yeah, it was insane, man. And like, and then we had all these like we we were doing Origin, we were going to do yeah, Grand Final yeah. week, like it just fucking pissed me off. Yeah. But we, 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 we were do. supposed to go to. The, so like, if you guys if if you guys are in the Doozy Club at the moment, so do, what do when everything opens back up and we can hold, host events and stuff, they'll be super. Like, they'll be so consistent. Oh yeah, yeah. Doozy yeah. Club. If you're in the Doozy Club, it's literally first in mm. uh, or only in. Yeah. So it'll just be doozy club events, shit like that. So the cool thing about the Facebook group with all those cunts is they get on with each other already. Hundred, hundred, yeah. hundred. It's a super respectful space. Mm. So it's exciting, man. It's fucking exciting. And I've got some good ideas coming up yeah. with after lockdown. Just like you know, you and I going away for grouse and a few reds. Ten, ten of the best. <sighs> 
it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun, man. So that's gonna get loose. Too. We're gonna be putting that up in the doozy club over the next few weeks. Mm. So if you guys aren't in, then get in. If you're in, then keep an eye out. And pretty yeah, pretty much we'll be opening up a certain amount of spots. Yeah, because that we have to cap of course. it. Cap it at like fifty, a hundred, mm. two hundred of the best. <laughs> of the best. Best. Can't wait. Neither. All right, brother, let's rip into some current events. So we've had a little scout around the world and seen what's doing, what's piqued our interest. And this one stuck out to me. I wanted to get, get your reaction on this. So bear with me here. A North Queensland all-boys netball team, Jordan Simi, has smoked an all-girls side in the final up there, the regional final, 46 to 8 to 12, rather. Blown, and fans are blown up. Blown up. So it's an under-18s comp. So here are the facts. I'll give you the facts first before we start talking about this. Me. So the Queensland Suns men's netball team Pumped the Bond University Bull Sharks 46-12. Apologies to the Bull Sharks. Great name. Members of the crowd started hurling abuse at the boys for playing oh. in the match, just saying that they were having taking the piss, discriminate against them, and untuck the dicks before you get on the court. Whoa. I might have added that last part. Parents and fans were divided online about whether the match was should be played. Queensland Netball has since come out and said the boys had nowhere else to play and everyone deserves to be included. Yep. Gender should not be a barrier. Yes. Your reaction to an under-18 boys team pumping the girls' team in netball? Be you're, careful. You're, be careful. You obviously have to tread lightly on these sort of conversations. You do, because I can see where you're going. Well, I... I, I it's a weird one. I, I have sisters. I have daughters. Yeah. So I'm a massive believer in equality. Of course. Right? I don't think anyone's questioning that. I'm a massive believer in equality. But the matter of the fact is men have a higher physical... Biological advantages. Exactly. Mm. So it, you, it's, it, that's, just, that's, just, that's just human nature. I'm going to stop you before you stumble through this anymore. <laughs> Fucking pisses me off. <laughs> but I, like, I'm, obviously no one has an issue with boys playing nipple or whatever. No one gives a fuck about that. And you want to... Play with girls, play against girls, no drama, do whatever you want. But sports are where you, you draw can't the line. Be, you draw the line. You can't be all inclusive in sport. In the world, who gives a fuck? You want to be gay, trans, whatever you want to do. You want to hang out with boys, hang out with girls, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. Sports has got to be different because it's a competitive environment. And who brings in the most money? Well, that's another <laughs> that's another conversation. Like, but I'm talking about like there's no like we're going to get to a point where there's going to be female fighters saying they want to fight men. And that shit, like, you can't do it. So There's maybe two girls in the whole world. Well, or maybe in New Zealand there's fucking maybe 50% of the females <laughs> can beat up males. But, um, like, it, you have it to It doesn't matter whether they can or can't. You, they just, it, it can't be done. I'm a big believer, yeah, in equality. But it's just... you Just leave it out of sport. You just... Yeah, just... And the argument when they say, oh, the boys team had nowhere else to play... So, sorry, men are, men are men and women are women. Yeah, right. You play, you play the boys. It's and just, if there's no boys to play, that sucks. It's hard, man. It's, play basketball. It's hard, man. It's so hard to just <laughs> because I understand, but then I'm like, how do you the, go? How do you go on the netball court? All right, you ever play mixed? Come on, man. <laughs> You'd be wet with that One shot, the, man. Too. Nah, you got defense, a nice defense, man. D. Yeah. 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 The video. Of this one's a bit of a giggle. Defense. All the boys are like, you got to picture, picture this, bro. You're 17 years old with all your mates playing basketball, smoking these girls. You're gonna. It's not the boys' fault. They're fucking. They're just out there blocking this shots. This is and equality. Sinking shots. This is all a part of equality. Yeah. This is all a part of equality. Mm. I don't want to get too much into it. because It really <laughs> stresses me out. But <laughs> it's, it's it's there's there's it's, two there's, there's two there's wrongs. There's a fine here. line with everything, yeah. man. There's two wrongs here. Number one, Queensland netball. Yeah. Don't let that shit happen. Why and not? number two, why are the parents abusing the boys? It's not their fault. Let the boys play. Let the boys play. Let the boys but play. But just let them play other boys. This is what <laughs> this is what I can't stand, man, is people pick and choose, no matter what subject it is, people pick and choose. If if you're fighting for equality, then it has to go both ways. <laughs> it has to go both ways. Hey, you want the smoke? <laughs> Catch me on the court, man. A hundred percent. If you want equality, it has to go both ways. <laughs> males males always <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean. I can't say it because I don't want to get cancelled. <laughs> but it's like, it well, has you've to said go worse shit ways. before. There's not got you cancelled. Well, I think yeah. You're right. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, I have sisters. I love females. Mm. But you have to draw a line in certain things, man. I think the line is pretty clear. It's called sport. Fuck me. Stay out of it. Um, but yeah, it was obviously an interesting story. 
there's no place for the fans and parents to be abusing the boys. It's not their fault. Let just the boys playing. play. Let the boys play. Just let them play other boys. No, but like even if they want to play females, that's their, that's what if that's what they feel like it, then that's equality. <laughs> that is equality. Hey, it's only going to make the girls better. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. If All we're right. going to change the dynamic of fucking equality, then it starts with fucking netball. <laughs> it starts with with netball. Yeah? You've always said that. <laughs> so yeah. It, then it's a fucking domino effect. But transitioning from netball to the world of MMA, so me before you, you go do that down, shit in New Zealand netball, <laughs> the chicks will fuck you up. Oh, bro, <laughs> I've played mixed netball before, and I've been the shit being now. Holy yeah. shit, girls in New I Zealand suck. are different. I suck at netball, man. Really? I'm struggling to find a sport I'm good at, but I suck at netball. No, nah, I'm pretty good at netball. I'm, I'm more of that bounce pass. Boof, bang, bang. Oh, you would try and be Think. nice with it too. Centre. Mm. What position do you play? Just these ones. Bang. Bit of wing D. That's just a, that double pass off the chest. <laughs> For those who don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what position do you play? Centre. Yeah. Yeah, goal attack. <laughs> goal D. No, it is. Oh, yeah, in I'm, in the, I'm in the middle. You're I'm always in, moving. Yeah. Because you know you can only stay in like your space. Yes. So centers obviously can roam around. I'm always I'm always looking for an opportunity. You ain't got fitness to play center, boy. What are you talking about? No, nah, no, nah, it's not youth. about it's not about fitness. It's about IQ. <laughs> You're like Cameron Smith. You just get to your spot more efficiently. You're not running around there like a madman. <laughs> if you can read the game <laughs> like I can with netball, and you don't union, have to be fit. You don't have to be fit. You can almost it's like chess. Learn how to play chess, and you'll succeed in life. We're going to be um, pivoting like ATR sports content. Obviously, in the off season, we're we love the NFL. We love all of our American sports here, but we all all the boys here love rugby union too. Simi reckons he's clued up on that. You basically reckon your rugby union knowledge is akin to scope and eyes in league, yeah? Yes. If not more so. Yes, I am a connoisseur of mm. of rugby union. Your King's College pedigree speaks for itself. I played fullback majority of my career. Mm. And um, you just pick up a talent of reading the game and seeing where the ball's gonna go. Knowing, you know, as I go back to chess, you're always three, four moves ahead, <laughs> sometimes ten. But I can read Rugby Union like a fucking comic book. So do you want to do the Union content? You want to steer that ship? Listen, next game, chuck me on. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what's going to happen. We should do a Union companion. Play. That's what we should be doing. 100%. We should have done the bleeders low, huh? <sighs> Anything. It. Yeah, I watch fucking Argentina play Uruguay for <laughs> Cup quarter <laughs> qualifier. <laughs> uh, so condolences to Croatia as well. Missing on the World Cup. Sorry, boys. Kakosi. Mm, All right. <laughs> dobra, dobra. <laughs> Let's jump into the world of I suppose we'd say MMA, but a bit of Major League Baseball. Conor McGregor. Ah. What a first pitch, man! Conor McGregor has come out and thrown. I w- I reckon it's worse than fifty cents. It's probably the worst first pitch ever. Now, before I get you to react. Mm. You need all the facts. Number one, did you know that it's 18.3 metres from mound to plate? Yeah. I used to play baseball. <laughs> That's a pitcher. So it's a, it's a fair distance. Number two, this is a Lukey Stowe conspiracy because we're going to get to the fact that Conor McGregor is the king of fucking staying relevant, but Lukey reckons he did it deliberately. Uh, Does any... So, like, let's, let's picture this now. Alternate universe. McGregor goes left arm, zings it in. Do you see that on the highlights? Mm. Do you talk about it? Does he make grouse in a few reads? Most likely. <laughs> Most likely because it's like either it was shit or if it wasn't. Well, but okay, I, say he just standardly just tosses it in and gets no, it. No, but I'll tell you from a pitcher's point of view. <laughs> it's funny. You knew that, you knew what since his hips were off from the jump? Yeah, no, you can actually. Just how his, his, feet, are, uh, his feet are. And also as well, there's actually, if you freeze... You freeze the video, you can actually see where he releases the ball. Mm. So he releases the ball sort of around here. Yeah. Right? Where it's got to be around here. Yeah, because he brings his fingers down the ball, doesn't he? Yeah, and it's like you've got to almost roll through. Yeah. But baseball is actually throw like this. So it's, al- it's almost like, like that, and you're <laughs> following through like that. So <laughs> it's almost you're following it through. Right, there's this old um, there's this old thing we used to do back in um, high school to to warm up the shoulders. Shut the fuck. Can I? <laughs> and this was in first eleven as well, um, cricket. <laughs> so you, you get a towel and you you put put a brick in it. Yeah. Right, and and you just pretty much just. Did you have a few bricks lying around? Just it, flick uh, it. Just flick that, and that that warms up the rotator cuff. <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, so he, he released it too early. Also, as well, his clothes were quite restricting. Yeah, he's in that so custom he, suit. Yeah, so <laughs> the custom suit, and he, he likes it tight because his shoulders roll forward, and you get that from Muay Thai. Mm. But that's what that's what sort of probably stopped him from like releasing it there. So, so that was your thoughts on it. That was my thing. You asked me. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, thanks for breaking down the baseball pitch. Um, I'll tell you what. One thing, McGregor is if he can't pitch. He is the king of staying relevant regardless. Whether he's throwing out those ranked pitches at the base. So this is the thing, bro. McGregor's not fighting at the moment. And he's all that anyone's talking about. Whether it's the Machine Gun Kelly stuff, which I did actually want to get you to talk about. We didn't mm. even talk about that, eh? Mm-hmm. Last time on the show. Mm-hmm. Or throwing out pitches. Like, he's always in the fucking headlines. Which is why, like, the theory of he biffed that into the stands on purpose sort of makes sense. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I don't know anyone that loves the spotlight more than that cunt. Well. The Machine Gun Kelly thing was weird. Yeah, that was weird. You obviously don't know the, like, people don't know the full story, but people invite him to events because... You're going to get a headline. You're going to get a headline. People are going to say, oh, they're going to look at your event. Mm. You know what I mean? So you want that. You want that. People, sometimes people want that drama at their shit. Yeah. You know? But what, like, he's he's a father of two. He's, whatever he is, 30. This is the fight game, Jackson. Yeah, I suppose so, but, like... He's like beefing with Machine Gun Kelly and throwing these weird pitches. Like, I know we're probably like I know for a fact we're past that golden era of kind of fighting and knocking guns out. But like, doesn't it just feel like I don't know, like try hardy at the moment? Like nah. he's losing me. What I'm saying, he's losing me, man. And I used nah. to love McGregor. Honestly, nah, man. Honestly, it's a fight. It's a fight game, man. Mm. And if you're not relevant, then. What yeah, I, yeah. Well, no, he's definitely he's definitely good at staying relevant. I, just, I reckon he's. I I fucking know. Like, if that cunt was some cunt's cheeky to you like that. Yeah. Did you see him post the your girl's favorite fighter, Megan Fox <laughs> at his fight? Yeah, that's disrespect. <laughs> he's fucking petty like that, eh? But that's yeah. Conor McGregor, man. That's why we love him. Um, from one Billy Go to another, Ben Simmons. The Ben Simmons saga has rolled on. If you haven't seen it yet, check out that's YKTR disrespect. Sports Instagram for a bit of a breakdown on the whole thing, but. The latest is that Ben Simmons, the big Aussie boy, is not going to be a 76er anymore. It all started when he brushed ice for the photo, the attitude of Dome. <laughs> Can I, before we start to talk about the X's and O's of basketball, because given your fucking baseball breakdown, I know you want to do that too. Um, does, what, what am I trying to ask? Does Ben Simmons think he's like a bit more vibey than he actually is? Because for like, you've got to think about this, bro. He's an Aussie, like a genuine Australian in the NBA. Mm. He was, what was he, number one pick or fucking right up there. Yeah. He's an all-star. Yeah. He's dating a Kardashian. Like, but no one in Aussie He's not dating a Kardashian. Likes him. He was. No one in Aussie likes the cunt. Like, why is that? Why does no one like Ben Simmons? Um, I is it just the attitude because he, he blew off the Australian basketball team in the World Cup. I mean, the, the, yeah. um, the fucking Olympics. Yeah, I get that. But let me counter this. Steven Adams has never played for the Tall Blacks. Can't, he, they're going to build a statue of the cunt road rural. We love him. Mm. But there's two different attitudes. Like, Stephen Adams is about that life. Yeah, he's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know You've got to remember your roots. Yeah. You yeah. have to remember your roots. But to be honest with you, man, it's like, it is what it is, man. If you're 6'11", potentially 7 foot with mm. fucking Air Force Air Force Ones on, <laughs> you're, 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 he's a good looking cunt. And I've yeah. heard stories he's got a piece on him. Oh, does he? Yeah. I've heard some stories he's got a fucking piece on the cunt. So I, I wouldn't give a fuck. What anyone thought? <laughs> I don't think he's a Billy Goat at all. I think he's vibey as. And could as he, of October could he one, potentially be like better. Yeah, anyone yeah. can be better. But I just think, you know, the world's his oyster. He's still young as fuck, and he has the opportunity to be better. Like, so he's a good basketball player. Very good basketball player. So I think if he's in a role, like I think seventy six is actually, I I think they actually got too many. He's the star of the team. He yeah. needs to be fed. And you've got him and Bede, and then you've got, like, who else is there? Previously? Yeah. Well, they've had, they've had a bunch of... They've had a bunch of... Like, like Covington, Jimmy, they've like, had yeah, fucking so Redick. He needs to be Butler. the boy. He needs to be the boy. So, but he, I think... They, they seem to have decided pretty early on that Embiid was the boy. He needs to go to a different team, whether he be with another star, but it's a fresh start, new beginnings... I believe as of October 1, regardless, he gets half his salary, which is like 8.6 milli yeah. in the bank. 
Perfect. So they're getting fined in the preseason for whatever it is, like thirty thousand a kidding. day. To give it's like thirty bucks. <laughs> yeah. of the best. Thirty bucks is the best, and he's still apparently the reports are he hasn't left his Calabasas mansion. So the seventy six has called him and said, "Mate, fly to Philly. We'll line this out." Anyways, you can't come to me. <laughs> well, go. honestly, like if your team's trying to trade you, mm. yeah, and I I can see where he's coming from <laughs> from personal experience. When your team is against you and <laughs> the city's against you. <laughs> That's what hurts the most. When people are fucking bagging you and stuff like that, it takes a while to perfect your craft, to find your feet in a team. Mm. So I hope he doesn't go back to the 76ers. I hope he goes oh, to I a think different that's done. team. Good. Basketball semi then, where does he end up? If you had to get the old Oracle crystal ball out and guess. I could see the Sixers trading him to either... Would you go like winning system or they're going tr- to or shit team to get a bunch of picks or something like that? I could see him potentially either going yeah. to the Spurs mm-hmm. or Canada. What do you mean, it's Toronto? Yeah, <laughs> I think you just meant, I think you just meant going to Canada. No, no, the Raptors. What's the only team? Come on, man. <laughs> I don't, the yeah, I don't there. mind that. I wonder what those teams would be able to give up. I think I reckon they'll. I reckon Raptors will. We'll trade um, Lowry. That? Nah, he's gone. Oh yeah, where's Lowry? Um, he is in another team. Yeah, somewhere good, isn't he? Anyway, sorry, we forget which. Anyways, yeah, going. but yeah, no, I like it. Uh, I I hope he. I, I would love to see him go to a team like the Warriors or the Lakers or somewhere where he's relevant and winning. I don't think it's going to happen. Potentially, he will be going to the Warriors. I've heard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from a I friend. Think the reports are that basically they. The Warriors front office don't believe that him and Draymond on the court would work because you've got two guys that don't shoot. So they would have to move Draymond and apparently Stephen Clay said, get fucked. But I don't know. I don't know how much of that's true. But I either honestly way, think if they were to move on from Draymond... Oh, Ben Simmons is a massive upgrade. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Important, is it? Yeah, actually Brand manager is. chat. Yeah, it actually is. What time's your meeting, for real? Uh, 1.30. What's time? 1.47. <laughs> Had to move it back to about 2.30, but yeah, let's... Re- oh, let's keep rolling. Uh, speaking of basketball, J. Cole out there training with the Orlando Magic. Nah, <laughs> so that ain't that, man. Every hooper wants to be a rapper and every rapper wants to be a hooper, man. When you've got that, when you've got time to to do that in your organisation, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. Like, you think you, the Lakers are bringing in J. Cole for a workout? No. He's done, he done, he's done his thing over... over he's Africa. done amazing things. He's doing amazing things, but it's like... Bro, there's 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 guys out there that actually bend over backwards, even in the G League, that yeah. want a spot, and then you get you get Jay Cole to to trial out. It's like fuck, that's that that would do my head in. Good Same. on him though; he's put himself in that position to smack it. But like from if I was in the G League in the Magic, I'd be looking to fucking move to a different team. I'd be like, these cunts are fucked. The only where's he from? Is he from? Sorry for my language. Is he from Carolina, North Carolina? Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlotte. Oh, like Charlotte, you're a terrible team. It'd be amazing marketing. I would put him on the roster and just not play him, or or throw him on in garbage time. Like that makes sense from a marketing perspective. But if you're the Magic, what's what are you doing? It's so weird though. This is what I love about the NBA though. That NBA teams and NBA owners and the fucking NBA itself mm. are so willy nilly mm. like that. <laughs> That like it, the NFL won't even like oh, allow Colin Kaepernick no. No. to come back, and he's probably better than half of the quarterbacks that are in the league. At Cam the Newton ain't got a job. Cam Newton ain't got a job, and, got a job and you've got this shit. rookie at the Jets fucking throwing four of the best intercepts. So it's like that. That's what I love about the NBA. They're so open, and like they take. Oh, I don't give like, a fuck. Fucking NFL can't even celebrate a tackle or some shit like that. You no. know, it's it's kiddies, man. Kitties. Yeah. When, do you know what I wanted to actually quickly chat about before we move on? Yeah, go. Was I wish we made this a part, which we can if you want, if you mm. want to buy into it. I always how do. do you believe I've got my own thoughts, but how would you think that the because like the NRL are always up and down with how much money they make, the crowds suck, they don't suck. Mm. How do you think the NRL could improve or take from the NBA to increase fan buy in? As in revenue or Revi- oh well like everything. revenue experience like what would you change like from from even players wearing uniform yeah that minor okay interesting like that. Oh, like right. that 
Well, I'm going to look straight at the NBA and go two things. Tunnel fits. We need that league fits. Yes. All right? Yes. I don't need the Broncos rocking up in those maroon tracksuits. Why? Who cares? You're going to make all that sponsorship money back when they're plastered across the jerseys. We don't need that. You get fucking, who's some, Dill Brown, Kalen, all those vibey cunts rocking white KTR yeah. when they walk in. Yeah. Game yeah. over. Game over. Number two, let us buy players' jerseys for the love of God. With names on the back. Names on the back. That's what the biggest are you, revenue bunts. What are you doing? And they go, know. oh, well, fucking Razine Paints pay fucking a million dollars a year for that. Bro, you will sell a million dollars of Sean Johnson jerseys in a week. 100%. Like, I'd buy, I'd buy the fucking whole, I'd be getting a Josh Curran jersey tomorrow. Yeah. Like, I'd be buying everything. 100%. So, there's two things off Even the top of my head. Even if it's just the main players. Main players. And number three, you know what you need to fucking nail is game day. As in... Like match day operations, yeah. make it a fucking event. Yeah, don't make me walk in, get a fucking hot dog, oh, fucking cold hot dog and a warm beer, and sit down in the sun. Like, yeah. make it a vibe, bro. Get yeah. some decent food there. Barbecues out in the parking oh, lot, proper. But maybe like a half decent music act that you can actually hear. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. A little, uh, a little more of a crowd interaction. More of a crowd interactions incentivize people to come to the game. But they go in the NBA and they sh- they shoot fucking t-shirts. They shoot the t-shirts. They have kiss cams and dance cams and shit. It's so kiddies here, Back man. home, they've all they've got is a camera and you've got to do a fucking puke on it. Yeah. They don't want to do that. But the, the Warriors are pretty good at their crowd interaction. Well, they've got a mad little, um, at the southern stadium. end of the ground, mad little stadium, and they've got like, they do proper like yeah. food. Like mm. fu- like there's like a hungry fusion thing. Yeah. They've got mad hot, like it's a mad, there's so they much, do a better, but. There's so much Bunsen to be made in the NRL. Oh, it's right. crazy. I look at like, if you are the if you are like the Dragons, right? We went to a Dragons game this year. Let's use that as yeah. an example. The Warriors beat them actually. We went to a Dragons game this year and you had 11,000 in that stadium all paid whatever, let's say $30 a ticket. Yeah. And they all bought chips and a drink. Yeah. The, you're, you've got them there. That's the hardest part. Yeah. Sell them some cool shit, man. Yeah, yeah. You should have discounted memberships when you're yeah. in there. Like you yeah. should be able to, you should be upselling the fuck out of these people. 100%. 100%. And from the players, let them do their shit. Let them do their thing, man. Let Cam Munster cash in on being Cam Munster and don't yeah. try clip the ticket at every turn. Yeah. Because if you yeah. let if you let Brandon Smith sign all these endorsement deals and become the biggest star that he can possibly be, yeah. guess what, you dumb cunts? More people watch the NRL. 100%. 100%. So you don't have to be going there going, oh, how much for that budgie smuggler yeah, fucking yeah, endorsement? Yeah. Give us 10%. No, you dumb fucks. Mm. More people are going to watch the and Storm And you actually, play. even with the rugby union, you can act, you will retain players... If you give them more rain in oh, the, the organisation, it's ma- it's simple. And you'll simple get juniors math. re-signing for their clubs. You'll get a guy like Matt Burton who, you know, is trying to get a position and the Bulldogs offer him massive money so he leaves. If he was in Penrith and able to do whatever the fuck he wanted yeah, yeah. outside of the salary cap bunks Hundred. and make as much money as possible, he'd probably still be playing for the Panthers. A hundred percent. That's just off the top of my head, Simi. Yeah, no, the, I, I totally agree 100 percent with what you said. And, I, and sex tapes. No Let the boys. No. Oh, sorry. No sex tapes. <laughs> but yeah, it's like there's so much bunts to be made, and like just you have to move with the times. They're stuck with, you know, this old way of thinking where it's like you get the old players in and they're commentating. The boys are walking in their tracksuits and shit like that. Create a vibe, as you said, with like the tunnel, like mm. the teams walking in individually or like two boys at a time with their different fits. Then, then the then the clothing brand that sponsors that then puts it on their platforms, then pushes it out to a wider range exactly. of people that then watch the games. Like the interview process, like don't make sure you know what I mean. Like 100. interview the players, like about other things. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's just if you dare go out again and ask Brandon Smith, what did you think of that game? Like, bro. <laughs> You know what I mean? Get we watch the game. We know they won. Like, get Bo Ryan out there for a giggle. <laughs> like, Where's Bo these days? You know, like they're trying to keep the current old head NRL fans happy yeah. and you're losing the young ones, man, to esports and fucking porn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, and it, like put the player's name on the back of the jersey for goodness sake. I, that is the number one <laughs> revenue leak. Like they're talking about a year where they kind of fans in the stadiums how much money they're losing. <laughs> I've I've solved it in thirty seconds. Put the names at the back of the jersey. Put us a sheik on the back of a jersey, and I'll buy six tomorrow. Bang, 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 bang! And then, did you see their merch? The NRL merch. Yuck! Holy shit! Also, get someone with a half cent. Like, who is doing this to the NRL, man? We got a guy over here who puts his own face on a t-shirt. Get a guy in the building who knows what they're doing, bro. Straight up, like when I seen their merch and just the way they advertised it, you're like. 
Who's running this show? This is fucked. And that's respectfully to everyone who's working at the NRL because they're well, just they can only they can only do what's in their thing. But like, yeah. step outside the box. You got fucking like in the NBA, you got Russell Westbrook fucking in a little Uzi um, yeah. dance move like ad for for Air Jordan. It's like, man, come on, bro. So the NRL go move oh, was with that the a third times, party man. deal or blah blah blah. Yeah, move with the times, man. Seriously, it's it's really pissing me off. It's really pissing me off. Too. I would like if anyone from the NRL is watching this, and they are, give me a, give me the job, man. <laughs> give me the job from the NRL merch, and it also it won't take away from our jobs here because it's so easy. <laughs> Seriously, it's so easy. When I said when I seen that merch, man, oh fuck, I want to post some photos. It's it's <laughs> hilarious. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Anyway, we just we just solved all the blankets. Problems. Come on, man. <laughs> Picnic blankets and we can't hang out with more than five people. <laughs> the fucking fuck is silk picnic blankets. Come on, man. You know what else they should do, bro? Is every club should have three or four Caleb's and do game day vlogs. Best. You're interacting you with dumb? the process, the main players. Oh, mm. bros, bros, bros. Just fly on the wall shit. You don't need, the, we NRL, don't need to. the NRL need to get their old heads off the board and get some new blood, some new life into it, some new energy. Because these know guys are like trying to keep this like fucking. Illuminati vibe You know what I mean <laughs> Like No this old like, boys Who club. is running the NRL Like who is it It's just a bunch of I reckon there's like Five old guys That live in Palm Beach Oh Volandis is just a puppet Yeah <laughs> Yeah So And I know when Simi says get some Vibe of young cunts in there I know you guys Are going to start calling us But we're married no, To those four letters up there no, Alright so no, Hey no, We're going to have to Start talking bunts If you want to get us involved Seriously though. Wake All up right, to yourself <laughs> Should we hit the phones Call some doozy members Yeah Let's do it Fuck that piss me off. Fuck, I look like an animal. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, we are calling Matt Scott. That's cool. I got this. You got it? I'm going to go in with the soft. Hey, man. literally the first call every episode huh you have reached no <laughs> no sorry man sorry bros oh he's, oh, calling, he's calling sorry hello is this matt speaking yeah hey bro it's jordan and jackson here from yktr how hey, are you going bro Bullshit, no way. Swear to God, bruv, swear to God. <laughs> I don't know why he's got an accent, but it is us, yeah. It's us, bruv, it's us, man. How you going? Good, man, how are you? Oh, man, I tell you what, I feel a thousand bucks, I swear to God. <laughs> man, we're just calling you up because we wanted to invite you to grouse in a few red wine tours, bruv. Are you interested? Oh, are you in New York, bruv? I'm listening to the podcast. Yeah. What the fuck? Yes. Oh, yes, bro. Yes, yes, yes. Well, bro, we just wanted to call you up and say, obviously, thank you for your support in Doozy Club. Mm. And you're the third member of Grouse and a Few Red Wine Tours to Hunter Valley. Yes. Wow, no way. Fucking nice. Where do you live, by the way? I'm in Wollongong. Oh, yes. God, yes. yes. Isn't, um, I believe, <laughs> isn't, um, isn't Ryan in the gong? Yeah, man. So they can the, yeah, couple. Yeah, like I just, I just list, listened to win it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Was he in Wollongong? Am I right there? Yes. Yes. He's so, in the gong. Uh, He's in the gong as well. Um, you, um, let's learn a bit more about Maddie. What do you What do you do for a crust, Maddie? What are you doing at the moment? Talk to us. Talk to us. I'm um, a youth worker. Oh, oh Wagwan. <laughs> yes, bro. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Are you at work at the moment or? No, nah, no, nah, just in between night shifts. Just literally woke up. Oh, oh hey. God, well, what a <laughs> what a good call. What, what a, a good, good time. Call a lot of good timing. When did you um? When did you join the Doozy Club, man? How long have you been in? Uh, literally last night. After yeah, last night. Oh no way! <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, oh, welcome, bro. The people who signed up on day one are gonna be pissed. Man, <laughs> honestly, it, you can't be pissed at that. That's karma. That's good karma for what he does. Yeah, off the field. Well, congratulations, but Maddie. Listen, congrats, mate. Congrats, uh, mate. You are in. You are our third member. We're aiming for the back end of November, early December. Details to come. Are you much of a wine drinker, yep. Maddie? Uh, no, but I will be. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I love to hear, that's, man. Neither are we. Hey, we can just sneak a few fucking beers in here and there, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a long ride from the gong to the hunter, so we'll be singing pretty piss. All right, mate, listen, I'll be in touch. You are our third member locked in. We'll see you on the grass in a few weeks. Welcome to the club, brother. Thanks, boys. All right, see you later, soon. brother. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Three down, seven to go, cunts. Doozy Club is 
it's a club. It's a, <laughs> it's a lifestyle. This is the type of shit. This is like so minute to what we're going to be running once COVID, like the lockdown restrictions are up and are like over with. Yeah. We're going to be doing some amazing shit. So if you guys aren't in there or you have some friends that are 50-50, get them involved because we're going to start rolling this shit out over the next two weeks. And I have some ideas. He's got some ideas. That was good. You did that the whole time I was dialing then. All right, brother. We are calling. What's the name here? Joshua. All right. I don't know why I get nervous every time it starts dialing. I'm going to do another accent. Hi, Josh speaking. Hey, is this Josh? Yeah, it is. Hey, mate, it's Jordan and Jackson here from YKTR, hey, brother. How are you? Mate, I'm sorry for his accent. Hey, brother. Josh? <laughs> Josh, are you there? Yeah, yeah. It's Jordan. Totally not. It's Jordan and Jackson from YKTR, brother. How are you? It is. I didn't see the accents throwing no, them off. Get, uh, no, get rid of the accent. Get rid of the accent. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. <laughs> no, no, that's you. That's you. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. 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 It is us, man. <laughs> Bro, hey, listen, we, right. mate, we're just calling you up, man. Uh, we wanted to see if you would be interested to join us on the Grouse and a Few Reds Hunter Valley Wine Tour. As long as I can spill a bit of wine on my on my shirt, I'm happy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're in, mate. Yes. I'm a good sloppy drinker. Josh. It's, well, it's all whites, too. It's all, it's all linen. It's all linen. <laughs> linen whites. Well, is the, you're well, the fourth. You're the kid, you know? Nah, no, bro. You're in. You're in. You're in. You're the fourth oh, member. Boy, You're I'm the fourth so member. Fucking happy. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, I'm yeah, happy yeah, too. Where yeah. do you live? Where do you live? Uh, I live near Wagga, down the country. Uh, oh, is that far man. from fucking Hunter Valley? <laughs> yeah, man, but that's all right. I've got time off up my sleeve. We'll make oh, it work. We'll we make will it make work, it work. Hey, Joshua, before I'm going to... Let's gonna get need, to know Josh. Sammy, I'm going to need you to calm down, okay? Sorry. Because I'm trying to talk... So, Josh, I haven't had sex today, man. I'm fucked. I'm really sorry about I'm really sorry about him. Josh, let's learn a little bit more about you, mate. What are you doing at the moment? Where are you and what do you do for a crust, my man? Uh, I'm a telecommunications technician. Yes. Uh, I work for a telco company. Oh. Um, out in the bush. Yeah. So traveling all the time. Um You used to actually it. I just woke up from a bit of a kip. Oh, we got a theme here. The, night shit. the last guy we just called was just having a kip. Fucking lazy, these doozy members. Holy Mate, how, did no, you, no, how, no, how long have you been part I've of been Doozy on, Club? I've been on the road uh, not long, to be honest with you. Probably maximum a week and a half. <laughs> yes! I, I didn't want to. And I'm sorry to the boys before me, but yeah, no, I always wanted to join. It was just oh. more of a. Should I join? Should I not? But now well, I was like, this uh, is it, man. I, and it's respectful. I can't too. miss out on outside YKTR. So <laughs> yeah, I bro, to I'm telling you, man, this is it, bro. And this is just a little taste tester, as I said, for anyone who's not in Doozy Club. This is the shit we're going to be doing consistently. So you're in. You're, you're our in. fourth member. We have Ryan. We have yeah, Lucas. Mate, we I have watch. Matt. And we have you. This is awesome. this is the first step awesome. to, to many steps. Many steps, mate. And you're going to be oh. here with us the whole step of the way. Are you much of a wine drinker, Josh? You mentioned you want to slosh a little bit on the old linen, but um, you managed to, you'll get oh, it down. I, I love the old dune bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, he's a proper country <laughs> he's boy. He's a proper country boy from Wagga. <laughs> yes, this is exactly nah, what boy, we no, want, I'll cunt. Drink anything. Yeah, good man. Yes. Nah, but boys, I watch everything. I watch all every bit of the content. And grateful, I love it all, grateful, Thanks, grateful, mate. grateful, That's brother. Cool. I'm excited, man. This is dropping tomorrow at three o'clock, man. So Tune if in. I can get the parents around the telly, because <laughs> so, we made it. We made it, Mama. We're going on a fucking <laughs> one tour with the boys. <laughs> all right, Josh. I'm gonna have to hang well, up, I mate. Get the missus over for a special as well. <laughs> oh, holy <gasps> Jesus! Oh my God! Oh getting, my God! We're getting out of hand here. Yes. All right, the Wagga boys yes. are different. I've the Wagga boys are different, man. I've always said that. Yeah. You know us country. Boys, don't say us. you know us country don't boys, man. Us, All right, Joshua, mate. Listen, I'll be in touch with more details. Again, we are aiming into November, early December. Um, we'll be confirming that hopefully by the time this next couple of weeks. Yeah, we'll have a bit more details. Will. Yeah, um, just with COVID thanks, and shit. Thanks, boys. No way, easy, bro. Yeah, Timmy. Yo, Timmy, use that accent on the next one, too. Get <laughs> the shit out of <laughs> Thank you, know thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to have to hang up, Josh, because hey, he's, boy, getting, he's getting out of hand. Thanks, brother. Grateful. All right, brother. Later. Yeah, no worries. Grateful, boy. Grateful. See you later. <sighs> that was a good one. I tell you what, for a telecommunication, telecommunication special, shit connection. <laughs> shit connection. <laughs> Josh, Holy delay. Fix your fucking computer. That gun. was a disaster. This nah, is Josh what I'm was saying. Saying. Congrats, mate. This is what I'm saying. We have four members to this event. This is a stepping stone to Doozy Club. To greatness. The, to greatness. Obviously, as I said, I need to reiterate 
there's only going to be a certain amount of spots. So when we start rolling this out, this is just a perfect example. These guys, one joined yesterday and one joined a week ago. <laughs> so we don't pick and choose. This is all willy nilly. No, and I apologize to the OGs. This is random. I don't just like- This is random. Yeah, um, yeah no, this is a lot of for one thing you don't know about me. I actually used to live in the country back in New mm, Zealand. Shut up. Can I explain? South Auckland's not the country. <laughs> well, I used to, my family are from Waiuku. Shout out to Waiuku. Uh, I actually used to work part-time at the Kentish there. Um, it's a that? it's a pub. It's it's the most famous pub in Waiuku. So shout out to the Kentish. What'd you do? Poor piss. No, I used to clean up the butts off the floor in the <laughs> pokey room. <laughs> Where my mum used to fucking have a little dabble. Um, there's nothing that beats the smell of a pokey room, man. I'll tell you what. Oh, but no matter what time of day it cigarettes. is. Holy cunt. You never lose it. You never lose that smell. It's like, you know when people say they miss the smell of like fresh cut lawns back home? Nah, bro. I miss the smell of the Waiuku pokey room. Fucking hell. You walk into a pokey room at the Kendish Man and you're just like, it oh. smells like mum's clothes. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Thank you. That is Grouse and a Few Reds. Four members down, six to go. Grouse and a Few Reds, wine to us. Simi, we've done it again. Get around it, guys. Body science, lean muscle. Get around it, baby. Get around it. Have this look like me. Oh, <laughs> grateful. Grateful, man. Hey. Hey, hey, mm. hey, oh, hey, Mrs. Huber, you think that they should hang with us? Can't feel my music, we used to dance so the lonely eyes. Monk from my monastery, carried my bags off the door.